Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today I'm gonna do a what's in my shower tag. So um, this morning I was watching um, Marnie Goldberg. She's known as Miss Gold, Miss Gold Girl here on YouTube. Um, she did a what's in my shower um, video uh, tag and invited everybody watching to make one. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna jump on the tag bandwagon and do one. Um, and I will do what she did, and I invite all of you to, um, or I tag all of you watching to make a video or just share a comment below and tell me what you keep in your shower. Um, I kind of thought it was like a little strange at first, but um, it was a really good, good idea. I mean, she shared what she, uses um, and there is a product that she has talked about Michelle 1218 if you don't follow her go find her she's awesome as well um, she talked about it and a couple of other people um, I think makeup by Tiffany D I think she did too but it's the body shower by Luxaton and I've got to get my hands on it <laughs> I really want to try it they're raving about it it seems awesome so I learned something new and that's about the third time I think I've heard her talk about it in one of her videos so it's obviously a really good thing. So, um, let me jump right into what I have in my shower. Hopefully, maybe there's something here that you guys like. Um, the first two things I have are uh, face cleansers. If you have watched my very first video, you know that First Aid Beauty is my absolute favorite. Um, it is my go-to facial routine, period. So, um, this is actually almost empty now. This is what I use day and night. Um, if I'm not taking a shower, I just turn around, reach it out of the shower caddy, and I wash my face in my sink. But otherwise, this stays in my shower. And then I have Purity. Um, this is just in my shower because this is what I was using before this. And when I run out of this, I'll probably just use this until I can go run to Sephora and pick more up. So, um, I really do like Purity. It's really good for, you know, cleaning your face. I mean, it really is. I just, I don't know, maybe my face changed. I wanted something new. I feel like I get a little bit more cleaner with this, but like if I don't use a Neutrogena wipe or something before I get in the shower, I'll, I'll use the Purity to really kind of help get my makeup off and then use this to really scrub and clean my face. So I do recommend Purity. I mean, if you're just looking for a just a very basic, good cleaner, um, Purity is a good one to have. It's a good one to keep around. This little bottle is only $10 and these have lasted me like at least six months if I use it consistently. So 10 bucks for six months, you can't beat it. Plus it's a great travel size, but I definitely, um, I would go with First Aid Beauty. This is my top. This is one, this is two. So <laughs> moving on, um, I have two body washes. Um, I use the Olay Fresh Outlast uh, Cooling White Strawberry and Mint. This I actually smelt in a scratch off on a coupon um, in a magazine. I love the scent. It smells like very fresh strawberries. I love it. I think it just smells amazing. Um, I can smell it. Um, I don't feel like it interferes with any type of perfume that I put on, um, which I love. I don't have any like non-smelling lotions, so... I try not to uh, use too much of my lotion because then I can usually smell that, but I use a different lotion. But anyways, getting off track here. Um, I highly recommend it. I couldn't find this anywhere though. This scent, I couldn't find it. I got it at CVS. It was $6.99. It might have been on sale and I had a dollar off coupon with the scratch and sniff thing. So um, that's where I pick this up. Um, if you find it, try it out. Go take a sniff. It smells so good. Anyways, <laughs> and the next thing I have is by Bath & Body Works, the Sleep Aromatherapy. This is the Lavender Vanilla. I use this at night, which is basically what you're supposed to do. It's lavender essential oil and vanilla absolute help calm feelings of stress so you can sleep better. Um, I tend, I go back and forth between my showers in the morning and showers at night. If I can get one in the morning, I will, and then I'll use the Olay. Um, if I have to wait till the night when my husband's home and the kids are in bed right before I go to bed, then I will, I will use this to help calm myself down even more. And, uh, I just love the smell of it. And I, I just, I don't know. It's just very lavender-y. 
and vanilla -y. <laughs> There is another one that they have, and I think it's honey vanilla? Honey lavender? I don't know. I don't know. If you know what it is, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, that one smells really good, too. I've had this for, like, forever. I swear, at least two years. Um, not necessarily this bottle. I mean, I don't use it all the time, so that's why I've had it so long. But I do have the bathtub, uh, like, bubbles oil that you put in the bath. And I have um, the lotion. So I will do the whole get up when I can. And then I just go to bed and it just, it feels great. It smells great. I love it. I have the hand lotion that I keep on my head, my bed too. So at night I'll put that on and, and use that. Um, the next thing I have is my Arbonne Awaken Sea Salt Scrub. I actually just opened this and I haven't used it yet, but um, I know it's just as great. I just threw out the one that I had and I think it was Vanilla Amber by Arbonne. Um, it's one of their holiday ones. It, you can only get it um, like right before Christmas when they come out with their holiday line. I just finished that one. I love this stuff. This one, you can smell the citrus. It is, um, it, it has with lemon for vitality and coriander for happiness. So I can't wait to use this. I love Arbonne scrubs. I think they're great. Um, they leave a great scent. Your skin feels amazing all day long. I mean, you can match them up with the lotions, their, their body butters. I mean, your skin feels like butter, but I love this. I'll use this all year round um, to help, you know, just exfoliate the skin. It's got to be done. You do need to wipe down your bathtub after you use this stuff, though, because the oil really makes it really slick, so, which I'm sure is the case for just about any body scrub, but I haven't used any other ones except these Arbonne ones in quite a few years, so. That's my recommendation. If you know a person um, who is an Arbonne consultant, I'd hit them up or hold on until the uh, winter when they have their holiday because those, it's, I think it's vanilla amber. I really could be wrong. I can't remember the name of it. And there's another one, like a ginger something. And they both smell amazing and your skin just feels fantastic. So if you know an Arbonne consultant, hit them up. Um, the next two things I have are two shampoos. Um, I have the Clear Clear brand, Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy. This is the BJ's Costco Sam Club bottle. Um, I am almost done with it, and I cannot wait to be done with it. I don't mind it. I don't love it. I won't be buying this again. Um, I feel like I can't use a conditioner when I use this, I feel like it just makes my hair extra oily. It doesn't feel clean. If I just use this, then my hair feels clean. But <clears throat> I need some sort of conditioner for my uh, my hair because I use tools on it all the time and everything. But um, it's not bad, but I don't love it. I mean, I've heard great things about it, but I'm just not a fan. But I am holding out and I am waiting until I am completely done with this before I go buying new stuff. Um, so I have been on the hunt and watching videos and writing down suggestions from other YouTubers um, for good hair um, shampoo and conditioner because I just need something. I need something good. The hair misses the really good stuff. Um, and then I also have my, this is Redline Spot Shampoo Revitalizing. Um, this is actually from Sandals Spa or Sandals Resort. <clears throat> My husband and I went on a vacation to the Bahamas about two years ago now. I want to go back so badly. We went to Sandals and I used this when I was there. I used up the conditioner completely. Um, this shampoo I have to use a conditioner with. I can't use it without it but sometimes when I'm in the shower and I just want to take a mental getaway I use this and it brings me back to being in the Bahamas, <laughs> taking a shower, um, and getting ready to go eat or just when I woke up in the morning and going down to the beach. I really, really miss it. Um, and the last thing I have to show is one of these bad boys. This is a um, like foot scrub. So I don't get to go. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. My daughter needed me. Um, so back to this little tool thing. Um, 
I don't get to get pedicures as much as I would like, so I use this thing about once, twice a week. I try to um, give myself my own little quick pedicure in the shower. Um, it's all right. I, I got this in my stocking for Christmas for my mother-in-law, so she usually supplies me with these. I don't know where she gets them. I'm not quite sure. I think you could probably get buy these at Target. Um, maybe the Christmas tree shop or probably the dollar store too, I'm sure. I don't know if they're really the best, but they work and they do what I need them to do. So that's in my shower. And that's all I have. I have a razor in my shower. It's a disposable one. It's nothing fancy. So I really didn't think anybody would care enough to see that. And then um, my husband's stuff's in the shower too, but that's my husband's stuff. So that's it. Um, I hope that this was interesting. And again, I tag you watching to do a video as well, or just um, leave a comment. Let me know what's in your shower. All right. Thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.